It is not just for gentlemen's clubs anymore. A new fitness phenomenon is taking pole fitness out of the clubs and possibly right onto the Olympic stage. As News 13's Brittany Bade shows you, one woman in Albuquerque is part of this movement. Between all the sweat, bruises, and blisters, Kylie Marsh says there's really nothing sexy about it. It's different in that it's not really all about sex appeal. You know, that's a lot about power and agility. Yes, traditional pole dancing started in dark strip clubs. Definitely the origin of the sport. But what is now called pole sports is ditching the clear platform high heels and coming into the light. To be able to find a space where you get to embrace grace and power in the same place. It's not something that you really get to experience. Marsh is a former bodybuilder turned competitive pole athlete. She trains three to four times a day. That's what it really takes to be competitive. Competitions all over the world are only getting fiercer because the sport is on the International Olympic Committee's radar. That's a really big for the pole community because we're finally getting recognized as a real sport. The road to becoming an Olympic sport is long. But it's one Marsh hopes to be a part of. Oh my God, yes. She thinks his stereotypes fade. It's really frustrating to have to explain to people like, no, I don't dance in a club, I dance at home, and it's really only for a workout. And more people realize the skill needed to pull this off. You have to train flexibility. You have to train grip strength. You have to train um, conditioning. The sport will be front and center on a different kind of stage. It's going to be the next big thing in fitness for sure. Brittany Bade, KRQE News 13. Marsh is competing in a national pole sports meet this weekend in Las Vegas, Nevada. The next step for pole sports to become part of the Olympic Games is for leaders to prove there is a broad international appeal.